Beta 1.0, wow. This is one of the earliest versions of the game and it is quite a bit different to today's Minecraft. A version from a simpler time, graphics are simple, everyone is a Steve. Looking around the world gen it's quite a bit different to today's Minecraft. Quite a bit has changed along with the <coughs> hurt sound. Honestly, I don't know why they changed that one. Anyways, <coughs> I'm gonna go fast forward to beta 1.7.3. Where we've got Farlands, a mate to mess around with, and a few other additions to the game. So, we're now 1.7.3 and we're joined by mate Nibrop. Hello, this beta release was released in July of 2011 and as you can see it's actually not too similar from the forests of the modern versions. But, yeah, you can still tell it's an earlier version. If you just look at the clouds, those are already falling apart. Yeah, and the sky is a bit of an odd colour too. Alright, so, since there's no real, like, Ender Dragon, I guess we're just going to attempt to beat the game, something like that? Yeah, I don't even know if there's a Nether, to be honest, so... And yeah, I'm just going to get to it. Cue the speedrun music. some friends. Okay, I'm gonna head out. I feel like this video is gonna be more like trying out the different things in comparison to modern versions. If the recording is long enough I'll be able to cut some bits out that are interesting. And here we go. Ooh, gas. So this would be the old Minecraft nether, way before yeah. 1.16. I just realized I don't have a sword. Got a sword for you. Oh, I just made one. They shoot without warning. I oh, didn't no, 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 not go left. No, it just briefly displays the anime. Can they be reflected? Yeah, and you can reflect it. Oh, this was back when they had the big men. Nella fortresses weren't added until the full release, so there's not a whole lot to find in here. They've got those lighting glitches back here. Good to see they haven't fixed those. After we get a house done, potentially fast forward to full release and see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, I think we should do that. <laughs> I mean, we could explore the Firelands too. I think we should do that. I'm probably going to die in a moment. Nice bright overworld once more. How did I take fall damage in water? So I guess um, just make like two little houses and jump to the next version. No, you're not coming in. This is my house. Uh oh, run. This squid's got a full on rave going on. Here we go, full screenshot of the house. Alright. Farlands then? Yeah. journey. Two Steves on a journey to the Farlands. Because we definitely did not teleport here. Now, you may have noticed the weirdness of the blocks as we are moving. And as you can see, the entities are moving fine. This is caused by floating point precision errors, which I'm not going to go into the specifics of why it does that. You could probably just check the wiki anyway. Now, on to, back onto our journey. Look, over there. I can see them. Here you go. Farlands. Bask in their glory. Bask! What's on top? It's just flat. Anything else we should do while we're here? Or should we just jump to 1.0? Well, I guess just journey along a little bit and then, then yeah, I guess just jump to 1.0. So what creates the far lands? A uh, generation bug. Like shadow people. There's... I don't know why the lighting breaks up here, it just does. That didn't sound too good. Hmm. The houses look a little bit nicer now. Yeah, they do look quite nice now. <laughs> <laughs> 